All right, so we're getting ready to braise. We've uh, cleaned our pipe and everything's fit. The one thing that you have to do anytime that you are braising into any type of valve or um, other refrigeration part, you need to make sure that you wrap them in uh, wet rags, damp rags. Inside of the service valve here, there's rubber and nylon bushings and seats. And if you heat up that valve too much, it's going to uh, destroy those seats and the refrigerant's going to leak out. I always use uh, old t-shirts because you can rip them in nice thin strips and they're real pliable, much easier than a uh, cotton towel. And then I will wrap, wrap up the valve to help protect it. And these rags are are wet but not dripping and sopping wet and then you're going to want to have another another wet rag ready to douse it down once you get your um, your joint braised so we're going to Fire up the torch. And get a nice flame. Now when you have a joint like this or a joint like this, you don't want to point the torch into that joint. If you can help it, you always want to have the flame going away in this direction. And always try and start at the bottom of the, the joint, moving your torch. And this is where it takes patience. I want to get that joint, joint heated up. Again, trying to keep it pointed away from the valve. You see the flame start to turn green. You know that your joint is hot enough. And what you want to do is heat that joint up, not trying to heat the you want trying to heat the joint but not the sill floss itself. It'll just burn off the tip. And this is where it gets a little difficult when you have different angles and you can't see exactly what you're doing. You just want to push the, the brazing rod into the joint. And that, and that grazing rod and the silk loss will follow the heat. And this is hot, so we'll get this cooled down as quick as possible. We have one more joint to do right here. But if you feel the valve, it does get hot, but with that damp rag, it doesn't get any hotter than 212 degrees because that water is, like in module two, one and two is changing state. And that takes a lot of the heat energy away and it doesn't change the temperature of the valve. It doesn't increase the temperature of the valve. So that's it. We need to clean up our joint, do this other one. for coupling. You can see we have a, a wetter and larger rag here to help protect the valve now. It's just not 
quite so critical that you keep it um, out of the way of the flame. And we're going to start to start to braise in this one. A little bit easier here. You don't have such tight quarters. And then it's a keep your torch moving, and then it's patience. Again, when that flame starts to turn green, you know you have the right temperature to flow your your silk loss. Sometimes you have to go by feel because you can't see what you're doing here. Now this joint right here was one that I unbrazed earlier. It looks dirty, but it isn't. Now when we do the when we do the 3 8 inch line, we're not going to have the torch turned up quite so high because it will blow a hole through it and heat it, overheat it. So we'll let that joint cool off. <laughs> 